Sand Ocean isn't a difficult level in terms of points, and definitely in terms of platforming. This is probably designed to be A-ranked without the hovers involved, hover of boots involved, because, well, with hover boots, um, platforming becomes pretty trivial, and you can beat this stage really quickly. Most of your points are still going to have to be gotten without the time bonus in mind, though. So, try your best to get as close to 25,000 without relying on time bonus. Try to combo as much as you can, because it can be pretty tight. Um, in next stages, memorizing, en memorizing enemies' layouts is often very useful for being able to react and combo certain enemies. My Obvious was not happy today, whoa. Anyway, so you can just not wait for a lot of sections. You still have to wait sometimes. The Golden Beetle is right there, surrounded by a couple of gold rings. 3,000 points if you just press B. Again, your hover will just make the platform section pretty much non-existent, so don't need to worry about that. Um, if you need extra points, I would actually recommend trying to target that one down there, as well as the two up top at the same time. Now here, heh. <laughs> You can't target one three at a time, unfortunately, so you just have to deal with it. But you can hover pretty much from here to the checkpoint, so we're pretty close to it at least. Very nice. And if you hover, you can just skip half of the section. <laughs> I don't, because I want extra points, but... If you're trying to go pretty quickly, you can skip it. So there's going to be a few enemies in front of the gold ring, but other than that, it should be a pretty easy walk to the gold ring. Pretty good. So, um, well, in this A rank, you can get done in about half, in less than half the time. I got this done in literally less than half the time I did, so don't worry about it. <laughs> you can beat the entire level in less, in less time than they gave for the ring challenges. It's weird. But other than that, just go through at your own pace and collect all the rings you can see, pretty much. There's bubbles in multiple places, they're mostly fibers, but other than that, just go at your own pace. There's a 20 right here, there you go, and you've got so much time to complete this. It's like it expects you to get hit like halfway through or something, <laughs> or not have hover. I think they expect you to actually, you know, follow the level layout here, instead of just flying across the map. <laughs> See, literally less than half the time they even gave. But the last chow, again, you've got plenty of time. You don't need to rush through or anything, but 
It's fun to see how fast you can do this. I missed up a fair amount of time, but still. You can damage tanks with a lot of enemies. And, you know, get the camera stuck on the wall. <laughs> it's been a problem lately. I'm encountering a lot more at least. The camera just gets stuck sometimes on my geometry. And, you know, guy cooks with really barrel. Average. Average mission. So I believe it is... Not after this checkpoint, it's gonna be the next area. Okay. Skip everything. Screw the rings. Who needs rings? I don't. At least stop this right now. You can ignore the golden needle here, because it's not about points. And right before this checkpoint, you can get it if you're afraid of dying. But you wanna wait till it's about 90 degrees away. Hover over there. You don't want to wait till this is coming back on a return. I always have issues with timings and rhythms, so I tend to wait a couple cycles. And then, just to make sure you can make it, make sure the boxes are destroyed. You want to at least half the platform be exposed. I just want to be careful, because being careful is very, very much a good thing. Especially since I didn't get the checkpoint. But the child is right here, so you just need to jump on top. The fourth mission is similar to the first mission. Um, you can just do exactly what you did in the first mission, for the fourth mission, because you've got plenty of time to make it through, especially if you have hover. You can just blitz through everything. Um, I'm, I tried to do this level as fast as I could while still getting an A-rank. Turns out, you don't have, you don't, can't necessarily go that much faster. <laughs> and if you go too fast, some of the enemies don't even spawn. Those guys didn't even spawn until after I destroyed everyone else. Seems some of the enemies here are time gated in some way, this them. Um. Other than that, you can just kind of flick through the level. You just take it at your own pace. This level is a good one to just practice combos on because you don't necessarily need to be fast in order to beat it. So it's a good way to practice your Eggman movement. But speaking of movement, this episode and this episode, wow, this uh, mission really not particularly the mission, but the stage as a whole. The stage just really bugged me as a kid because the sand was annoying. Just overall really annoyed at it. Oh yeah, sometimes you just accidentally kill these enemies, so... Whoops. Speaking okay, as I was saying, um... I was always just super irritated at the sand because it was just so easy to get stuck in and the platforms were to me as a kid, not even as a kid, when I first was first playing this. Um, no, I was a kid too. But still, like, it's just, it was hard for me for no particular reason. Why I am the best. Hard mode can be more difficult, but it's really not too terrible. 
people, um, the bots, they just tend to shoot a little more often than other times. You can see me take this level pretty slowly because that. <laughs> um, other than that, there's a few less platforms, a few less rings, just standard hard mode stuff, and more enemies. Tend to shoot a little differently, be a little more aggressive. That one actually has more rings than usual, which is weird. But you also don't have the ring bubble on the other side. Like you normally do. And here you just have your little pusher bots. This level is just overall. Um, the fifth mission is pretty similar. You just have less places you can catch yourself. Go beetles in its normal spot, but yeah, you just, you can't, you don't have any as many safe spots to just land uh, once you get hovering, so you have to be a bit more precise with your movement. Other than that, it's still really easy. It's a breeze to walk, at least platforming. Enemies can be a little much sometimes, but mm, nothing you haven't taken care of before if you played Hero Story first. Here, instead of an enemy, there's a spike ball. So just hover over this fence. And, it's actually faster this time, so just hop over. Hm. Fun little thing. Here, I wait for the little, uh, the platform, so I can be a little more careful, and use the speed up power up. Nice. <laughs> So I do try to target as many as I can, and luckily I get the balloon. And it just doesn't let me up for some reason. So, it's still a good level.